This little program is very simple but clever in that it can work out the volume of just about any object just from one side-on photo. I'm very grateful indeed to two very clever people who've helped me a lot with this project. The program was written by my brother, Dr Thomas Bending, who is Associate Professor of Mathematics at Middlesex University in London, and Dr Sally Basker, who is Chief Executive Officer of Exeter Science Park. She's also a tympanist and has been extremely helpful in working out how to interpret the data, but also how to display and explain it to others. You can download the programme from my website and note where your computer stores it. Please note this programme is only written for Windows computers. There's a folder of images of timpani bowls on my website. Perhaps there's something there that's similar to your drums. Save an image that you'd like to use and then open the timpani volume calculator programme. Click on load image and select the file you want to use. It's maybe a good idea to play around with the threshold setting to see what works best. This affects what the computer judges is the object and what is not. And now click measure. This measures the image in pixels and then all we're going to do is enter the top diameter. That's the copper edge of the bowl where the head stretches over. We often talk about timpani diameter in inches. But if you input inches here, you'll get the result in cubic inches, which isn't terribly useful. What I recommend is to measure the diameter in centimetres. If you only have the diameter in inches, then just multiply that by two and a half. The result you will then get will be in cubic centimetres. Divide that by a thousand, and that gives you the volume in litres. If you want to use photos of your own timpani bowls, then try and photograph them from quite a distance and zoom in. Try and be as level as you can with the bearing edge as this is the diameter that's most crucial. If possible, it's obviously best to have the most plain background that you can. In Microsoft PowerPoint, there's a remove background feature. You might need to spend a bit of time playing around with this, but it works quite well. Ideally, of course, the best photos of a bowl would be without the hoop or the head on. But if you can't photograph the drum like that, then don't worry. At this stage, just try and remove as many extraneous parts as possible, as this will help accuracy. On a Mac, in Preview, you need to find the Smart Lasso function. You then need to draw carefully around the complete image and get back to where you started. Then cut what you've created and save it as a new file. Again, there'll be small errors, but nothing too big it will distort any results too much. Before you finally save any image, make sure that the timpani bowl is the right way up and as level as possible. Perhaps if you get some good photos of your timpani bowls, you could email them to me, so that I could improve the range of images available to everybody.